Oh, you who believe, give charity for the pleasure of Allah, the pleasure of Allah. Oh, you who believe, read the Quran every night of Ramadan, night of Ramadan. Ramadan Mubarak and welcome, welcome to Ramadan Reminders. This is your host Yusuf Estes. For the next few minutes we're going to be talking about something really key and important to us as Muslims. And that's the Quran itself. You know that this is the month that the Quran was sent down in so many centuries ago? Yeah, it was sent down in Shah Ramadan. It means the month, Shah is month, Ramadan is the month of the Quran coming down, it's the month of fasting, it's the month when the Muslims have a chance, a chance to go back, get closer to Allah, and inshallah, this is what we're going to be talking about in this episode of Ramadan Reminders. As we approach the middle part of the month, one of the things that happens, we start to realize how quickly the time is going by, and we go outside and we look up at the moon and we say, huh, what's happening? I can tell by the fullness of the moon, it's getting close even to the center, the center part of the month. And you know what? I haven't done near the things I wanted to do. I had planned to work on the Quran. I was going to sit in some halakas, you know, circles of learning. And I had thought about learning some new dhikr. I wanted to memorize some hadith. There were some good deeds I wanted to do. Certainly, I'll, I need to do a lot of acts of charity, that's for sure. But what's happening to my time? The time goes so quickly, you know. Have you ever sat in the doctor's office and waited and waited and waited and you said, this is taking so long. One of our programs, we discussed that, you know, that the time just seems like it drags. Well, a good thing for us to do in that case would be to make dhikr to Allah. We remember Allah, we'd say, subhanallah, alhamdulillah, la ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar. By the way, this is a good thing to say anytime, but... How about when I'm waiting at the stoplight? How about when I'm waiting for an appointment? How come you know that I can find so many things to do with my time, but when it comes to this subject of using the time for dhikr of Allah, I forget that this is the most valuable thing that I can do with my time. There are a number of things that we should be concerned about that we should think in terms of, for instance, time, what I should do with it. Right now, I've got some time. I need to use it. Now, you're watching television right this minute. Therefore, I know that you don't have a serious commitment or you wouldn't be sitting there watching it. So even while you're watching this program, you could be making some dicker. You'd be thinking, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. And by the way, when the program's over, you could always shut it off and do salah or call somebody up and remind them about some dicker couldn't you? And if you're watching this on the internet, you know what? The internet is a good tool for a lot of things, but still there's that temptation to go do this other little thing, this other little thing. You say, well, it's not really haram to do this or that, but at the same time, how about the time that you're using? How could you better use that time? What could I be doing right now that would be better for me than just sitting around, surfing the internet, flicking the channels through the TV. You know, isn't there something more important that I was supposed to be doing? Let me think. Ah, adhkar Allah, remembering Allah. By the way, I ran across something interesting. When I'm around the Muslims that speak the Lagut Arabiya, the Arabic language, they say, la tansa dhikr Allah. This is very common. If you go to Egypt or if you go to Saudi Arabia, this is a common expression you hear in all the Arab countries, really, that, that it conveys something that when you say it in English, it's almost comical. Don't forget to remember. Huh? Don't forget to remember. La tansa dhikr. Don't forget to remember. But actually, it carries a deeper meaning. It means don't forget and be sure you do what? To remember Allah and what you do. And actually, dhikr is something more important than just the word remember. So let's use our time as much as we can 
in thinking about a law, recalling, for instance, that it's only a law who created the heavens and earth, and he's the one who gives life and he gives death. He's the one that created the whole universe in six days and then rose above his throne. As we're reading through the Quran in this day, on this particular day, the 12th day of Ramadan, and you read the 12th juice of the Quran, you'll find that these expressions are right there in front of you. Allah is talking about that. He's telling you he's the one that you're supposed to be given all of your worship or your body to. He's the one and the only one who is due this great honor, this great respect. And when you think about it, we should be reminding each other too because the more in Ramadan that we remind others, the more reward that we'll get for ourselves. Suppose I pick up the phone right now and I said to somebody, you know what, I heard a, a hadith today about taking care of five before five, okay? The five things that I should do before it's too late. Now, suppose you called somebody up and told them about it, and then they called somebody and told them about it. Maybe somebody else at work will tell somebody else. Every time they're passing that hadith on, you're getting reward for it. Make sense? Isn't that worth a whole lot more than finding out what the celebrities are doing today, who is getting divorced and who is having a baby and what the sports players are doing and what was the high score of so-and-so. If you want to keep score, how about let's keep score of what? Our remembrance of Allah. I think that's, for me, the most important thing, especially mentioned here, almost half the month of Ramadan is sliding by and I haven't done all the things I wanted to do. So you know what? I'm going to pull out my hand and put it to work. You know how? The three parts of the fingers here, we're going to use them and say, Subhanallah, Subhanallah, Subhanallah. And as I move my fingers uh, across like this and count 33 times, you do the little finger twice, 33 times, Subhanallah, 33 times, Alhamdulillah, 33 times, Allahu Akbar, what will happen? That gives me 99 times that I've been doing adhkar of Allah, dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is for sure better for me than this whole universe and everything in it. Because when I complete those nine and then I say, La ilaha illallah wa ahdu la shrika lahu, lahu mulk wa lahu hamd wa huwa alla kulli shay'in qadir, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He can forgive me for my sins even if they were as high as the sky or as deep as the ocean. For what? For remembering Allah. And think about it. This is the month, really, the month to do that, to remember Allah. Allah sent down the Quran in this month. This is the month of, you want to talk about inspiration? This is the month of inspiration. This is the month for the revelation. And this is the month for me to have a chance to really think about my Lord. Think about what it is that he's given me and how I should be so appreciative of that. I should now get rid of some of this arrogance that I run around with and start realizing that, you know what? I wouldn't have anything if it wasn't for my Lord. I wouldn't have anything. I wouldn't even have my brain if it wasn't for Him. And then I wouldn't have the knowledge to put in it if it wasn't for Him. How much should I thank Him? I think you already know the answer to that. We can't thank Him enough. But you know what? At least we could try. Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar. We thank Allah so much for giving us another chance, another day. And before this day goes by, I want to remind myself with my Ramadan reminders. Be sure to go to the website, RamadanReminders.com. Peace. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, you who believe, give charity for the pleasure of Allah, the pleasure of Allah. Oh, you who believe, read the Quran every night of Ramadan, night of Ramadan.